I'd like to take a moment to let you all know about a new nonprofit organization started by my brother Craig. It's called Treats and Truth. They fill oversized brown lunch bags with snack items, chips, crackers, popcorn, cookies, etc. Also, a bottle of water, toothbrush, toothpaste, sanitary wipes, and most importantly, a small gospel tract book of John. No cigar? Uh, I'll have to talk to him about that. The bags are then hand-delivered to the homeless and people in need in and around the Los Angeles area. Let's help get this ministry off the ground. They're a 501c3 tax-exempt organization, so any and all donations are tax-deductible and greatly appreciated. Visit their website at treatsandtruth.org. Check out the show notes for the link. Also, please follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. to episode 61 of the Burning Bush podcast, where we share the message of the Bible while enjoying a good cigar. Glad everybody could stop by again this week and uh, hope your week's going well. This week, I am smoking the Perdomo Reserve 10th Anniversary Box Pressed Maduro in the uh, Epicure Toro size 6x54. So let's go right on over to their website and... Uh, let you know about the Perdomo Reserve 10th Anniversary. The Perdomo Reserve 10th Anniversary Box Pressed Maduro is a medium to full-bodied Nicaraguan puro blended with a dark, oily six-year-old Cuban seed Nicaraguan wrapper that has been bourbon barrel aged for an additional 14 months and is paired with a six-year-old Cuban seed Nicaraguan binder and filler tobaccos to create naturally sweet flavors with hints of dark cocoa and espresso on the finish. And the wrapper is a Nicaraguan Maduro. Binders are Cuban seed Nicaraguan and filler as well. Strength, medium to full body. Taste, rich and robust. Finish, hints of chocolate and espresso. And the pairings they suggest are scotch and bourbon. And the Vitolas come in uh, Figurado, four and three quarters by 56, Robusto, five by 54, Epicure, six by 54, Super Toro, six by 60, Torpedo, seven by 54, and the Churchill is seven by 54 as well. That is the um, Perdomo Reserve 10th Anniversary Box Pressed Maduro. Another one of my uh, favorite cigars. I really enjoy a lot of uh, Nick Perdomo's cigars. Like I said, I've said before in, in past podcasts, I think uh, just about everything they do, they they do very well. So you can very rarely go wrong with a Perdomo cigar. So let's go ahead and get back into uh, this, week's, this week's reading of Dr. Justin Bass's book, The Bedrock of Christianity. It's going to be another short and sweet section. This week's uh, section is entitled, Extent of the Creedal Tradition. What, then, did Paul actually receive in the 30s AD? Was it a written or an oral formula? If it was written... Was it originally composed in Aramaic or in Greek? Did he receive the entire tradition in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 7, or different parts of it at different times? It is impossible to know for certain the answer to these questions. They are interesting to speculate about, but not important for the purpose of this book. Most scholars would agree that the creedal tradition originally contained 1 Corinthians 3 through 5, and then Paul added to it more traditions he received, 
such as Jesus' appearances to more than 500 eyewitnesses, 1 Corinthians 15, 6, to James, 1 Corinthians 15, 7a, to all the apostles, 1 Corinthians 15, 7b, and to himself, 1 Corinthians 15, 8. This makes the most sense of the data, as there is a clear break from the formulaic wording after verse 5. However, remember the bedrock facts concerning this bedrock source. Paul received this information sometime in the 30s AD, either soon after his conversion in Damascus or when he met with Peter in Jerusalem, and all testimonies found within cannot be dated later than a decade after Jesus' crucifixion. Technically, then, we can say that the most ancient creedal tradition speaks of Christ's death, burial, resurrection, and appearances to Peter and the Twelve. The other traditions concerning Jesus appearing to more than 500 at one time, to James, and to all the apostles, while possibly added to the original creedal formula, still must be dated no later than a decade after Jesus' death. This is why, even if 1 Corinthians 15, 3-7 can be broken up into different traditions slash sources, they all make up the unalterable bedrock source of Christianity. And that's the end of this week's section of Dr. Justin Bass's book, The Bedrock of Christianity. So make sure you check out the uh, links in the show notes for Dr. Bass's website where you can uh, pick up copies of his books as well as check out his uh, YouTube channel. A lot of information there. And also a uh, link to this week's cigar, the Perdomo Maduro 10th Anniversary Reserve and uh, groundworksministries.com for daily Bible studies and devotionals and also the Burning Bush podcast merchandise store where you can pick up some merch to uh, help spread the word about the show and as always do me a favor and please tell your friends so until next week have a great day have a great cigar and God bless you